All right, so Anthony Joshua reacts to steroid claims coming from Jarrell Miller. And we're going to get his full response. He can't fight news. Y'all know what it is. All right, a shout-out to the boxing scene for the article. And Anthony Joshua, you know, basically responded to these quote-unquote allegations coming from Jarrell Miller. He's already stated Jarrell Miller has already stated that he believes AJ took uh, testosterone and got therapeutic exemptions for uh, specifically taking testosterone. So let's, and, and, and not only that, you know what, I'll say not only that, but Dillian White has now come out and he also believes uh, that to be true. So let's see, uh, let's see what Jarrell Miller had to say. Nobody could have put on 20 pounds between winning the Olympics and his first pro fight the way that Joshua did without taking something. Impossible. We busted our balls to get full testing for 10 weeks. Hold on a second, guys. All right, let's get into it. So since he won titles, his body slimmed down, and he's only really knocked out opponents who backed away. There's not the same strength and stamina. Klitschko pushed for testing. In what subjects did Vladimir and Vitaly get their PhDs? Sports medicine. <laughs> oh, buddy. Oh, buddy. Why didn't, why did people who know everything about physics of the body want Joshua to get tested every other week? They pushed on that but settled a bit to make the fight. I find that interesting. I'm not sure exactly what testing arrangements were made for the Vladimir Klitschko Anthony Joshua fight. That wasn't publicized. Um, in fact, the negotiations for that fight, there might be somebody on, on the Wilder camp that would know specifically what the drug testing. Um, what what drug testing was it administered for that fight? And that would be Shelly Finkel. Because he was the manager of Vladimir Klitschko. So that's an interesting note. Um, Joshua raised his eyes at the comments. And this was his response. I take that as a compliment to my dedication and strength power training. If I was on steroids as well, I wouldn't fit in this shirt. He's, he's talking bull. He's talking bull. At the London Olympics, I was around 104 kilos and then weighed 107 kilos for my first pro fight the next year. What's that? Just half a stone with pro training. He's only talking about one year, Joshua said. What about the 11 years I've been boxing since I was 18? Now I'm, I'm now 115 kilos. So that's just averaging one kilo more a year. And that's down to how hard I work and live. To all the strength and stamina training and weightlifting. To how I control everything I eat. And how I dedicate myself to boxing. It's my life. It's pretty much all I do. And it's expensive. The food and the drink and the lifestyle. I'm actually cutting weight now. So it would be pretty odd if I was doing anything by the way, all the anti-drug programs I've signed up to cost plenty too. I have to let them know where I am going to be every day. I get random tested roughly twice a week, round year by VADA, the Voluntary Anti-Doping Association, at a cost of 40,000 pounds a test. Oh, buddy! Yo, that's that's a total scam. <laughs> that's a total. That's an insane amount of money per test. Um, Joshua went on to say, and nothing. If ever there was something wrong with my next ten years of boxing, it would be an accident. I don't do anything. <clears throat> it's funny. It's funny how he said this. If ever there was something wrong in my next ten years of boxing. It would be an accident. So he's already telling you if, if he gets positive, that's an accident for sure. I find that very interesting. But anyways, let me know what you guys think. 
Smash the like button and subscribe to the channel. What do you guys think? Is AJ Juicing? Is Anthony Joshua on that testosterone? Whatever, you know, Tarana Ball, fucking Nandrolone and shit. What did Canelo test positive for? Is that shit in the meat? <laughs> hey, yo, it's King Fight News. Peace out. And smash the like button. Peace.